Hello, and welcome to this episode of Product of the Week. I'm your host, Bobbin Mitchell. In today's episode, we'll be looking at... Oh, oh bloody hell, Rick. Oh, <laughs> 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 bloody hell. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. The Nordic Thingy 53, a compact development system for the NRF 5340 SOC. The Thingy 53 is a multi-protocol IoT prototyping platform, bit of a mouthful, developed by Nordic that is based on their flagship product, the NRF 5340. Housed in a protective case, the Thingy 53 is in many ways more ideal for makers looking to develop wireless sensor projects at speed than other DKs due to the inclusion of sensors, battery, and other peripherals you could need in a single product. Furthermore, the protective design means that you are far less likely to damage something. Honestly, I'm not allowed to have nice things because I break everything and can even be used directly in outdoor environments for testing. Now, looking at the Thingy 53, we can instantly see why this thing is quite brilliant. As I just said, the protective case is great for someone who is heavy handed, but also for those who are clumsy or just a bit dense, like Richard. It's very sad, stupid, people don't know they're stupid. Thank you. You're welcome. The integration of low power Bluetooth, a battery and sensors also makes this awesome for rapid prototyping. And on the topic of software, the Thingy 53 is fully supported by Nordic's Cloud Academy, as well as development tools, all of which are free, containing examples and tutorials. So you will never be short of resources when using this device. At the heart of the Thingy 53 is the NRF 5340 SOC, a dual core ARM processor that packs plenty of capabilities supporting low energy Bluetooth, Bluetooth mesh, thread, and Zigbee. Now, for those who closely follow our content, you'll know that we covered the NRF 5340 in a previous product of the week, the Nordic NRF 5340 Audio DK. So if you want to learn more about this SOC, either head over to the official Nordic site or instead click the link in the description below that will jump you straight to the relevant timestamp. You know what? I think it would have just been quicker to just go through that SOC again. Anyway, the Thingy 53 integrates a multitude of different devices, including a low power accelerometer, a secondary accelerometer and gyroscope, humidity, temperature, pressure, and gas sensors, an NPM 1100 power management IC, an NFC antenna connector, buzzer, and extra onboard flash memory. The Thingy 53 also includes a color sensor, RGB LED, magnetometer, which I always get wrong, and a digital microphone, which when listing all that out, makes you realize that this thing has a stupendous amount of potential. But it doesn't end there. An integrated battery charger allows for external charging via a USB-C connector, which in my opinion is the king of connectors. And this is kind of important as the Thingy 53 has been designed with portable low energy devices in mind. Finally, a series of programming and debugging connectors along with current measurement pins gives you everything you could possibly need to develop low energy Bluetooth products. When it comes to software support, the Thingy 53 is not only supported by Nordic's rich environment of SDKs, training resources, and code examples such as the Cloud Academy, but it's also ideal for embedded machine learning applications, something that is undoubtedly becoming important in modern electronics. With its range of onboard sensors, Bluetooth capabilities, and powerful dual-core processor, the Thingy 53 has numerous applications across all areas of engineering. Arguably, one of the most ideal projects for the Thingy 53 is as an environmental monitor. The onboard humidity, temperature, pressure, and gas sensors allows for detailed analysis about the surrounding air while the Bluetooth mesh capabilities allows for data to be transmitted across a mesh of Bluetooth devices until ending up at a bridge device that is capable of taking that data and streaming it to a cloud surface. Another project that the Thingy 53 would be ideal in is wearable devices. The low energy nature of the NRF 5340 in combination with its small size makes it a suitable sock for wearables and the Thingy 53 gives you all the peripherals you could need for developing such a project. In fact, 
As Nordic socks are designed for commercial use, the Thingy 53 is excellent for getting a proof of concept working in code and on some basic hardware before moving on to a dedicated PCB. The Thingy 53 can also be used in predictive maintenance applications, whereby a device is attached to something of importance, such as a piece of machinery or a vehicle, and then machine learning is used to try and predict if something is going to go wrong. For example, a large CNC used to cut metal will have a very large and expensive router that needs frequent maintenance to prevent damage. However, while routine maintenance can fix the majority of issues, it is still possible that unknown factors can result in early degradation of the router. Thus, a Thingy 53 being used to monitor vibration and sound can look for unusual changes in readings by taking that sensor data and feeding it into a machine learning algorithm. As such, an early warning system can signal for immediate maintenance, which may well just save the router before it becomes permanently damaged. To summarize, the Thingy 53 is an excellent development platform for the NRF 5340 SOC. Its low energy capabilities makes it ideal for long-term battery operation, while its array of sensors and peripherals provides you with everything you could possibly need to develop portable devices. Finally, the powerful SDK provided by Nordic, along with their Cloud Academy, will get you programming in no time in everyone's favorite IDE, Visual Studio Code, which really is a work of art. So if you want to get your hands on a Thingy 53 and want to help support this channel, then head over to the Electromaker store where you can find everything you could need for your next Thingy 53 project. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.